Hello, this is Mrs. Neubauer, and let's work on her penmanship. So, why is the letter B so cool? Because it's in between A, C. Got it, A, C means air conditioning. <laughs> All right, so our goal number 11 is to learn how to write the letters. We're going to learn our original letters of T, X, R, and S. So, these letters are definitely all um, kind of on their own, their letters, so that's why I save them to the end. So our last four letters, we've done 22 letters, we have four to go, and then we're going to start with our whole alphabet in our next lesson. Okay, so the letter T, you can see, still have that crossbar like a T, but of course with cursive we have to continue to move our letters together when connecting on our stroke. X is kind of like an overcurve, but a little bit different. It kind of goes more at a diagonal. So if you remember the printed letter X, you kind of cross that, that last uh, part is definitely a diagonal like a print. So when you're done writing your word, you come back and you put the uh, diagonal through your X. Like think of the letter box or fix. Um, you would do the X and add the diagonal. All right, R is definitely an original letter all by itself. So this is definitely an R. You kind of come up, do a little curve down, and then our under curve underneath. And then our letter S. S is another last original letter. So you curve kind of on a diagonal. And we do this weird curve back, and then we end ours. So this one is going to probably be the most uh, challenging for today, but I feel like the last four letters, you've been through a lot that these might just be a piece of cake for you. I don't know. Okay, so remember to stop and give me L if you haven't already. Good posture and you're looking down at your paper, your head's not down. So, I mean, this has been, this is our 11th lesson. Hopefully you're getting used to uh, keeping your shoulders back and just having your, your eyes go down. Um, some people just tend to take their whole body down, but you're going to feel a little sore. And then make sure you have a nice flat spot to work with. And the last thing is, let's just do some quick warm-ups. Uh, we'll just go through all, we'll do some loops. Let's just do our fingers today. Bigger loops. Let's do some like these, the opposite loops. <laughs> Under loops, I guess. We can just do some circles. All right, some straight lines down. All right, and let's do our under curve. Under curve, under curve, under curve. Let's do some over curve. Over curve, over curve, over curve. And the last one, let's do the compound curve. We'll go left to right. Okay. Compound curve, compound. Let's go getting those fingers and your hand warmed up. Okay, so I'm going to switch cameras and we'll work on our last four letters. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you have number 11 originals, our lowercase letters T, X, R, and S. We're tracing over the letters by staying in the lines and trying some on our own. So you can recall this T is going to look like this T. X is going to look like this X. R is going to look like this R. And S is going to look like this. So the one thing about cursive is you're learning what the letters look like. You're learning how to write the letters. And then we're going to do the next step of writing the letters from memory soon. So um, this is our last four letters. So let's um, hopefully get these letters, our muscle memory, establish our uh, mind remembering to tell the hand what to do. So we're going to connect. Uh, do three different strokes for our T. So for T, T is kind of like the letter D, where we come up and we stop and then we kind of go up above. Remember D went all the way to the top. T goes to the middle and curves and then it connects it by when we touch it. So you can see right here. We're going to practice that in a second. And just like our uh, when we printed it, we have a crossbar. Uh, horizontal crossbar on our T. So let's try tracing these T's. Um, think of T as in two. T 
B as in tree. Okay, so you kind of go up to the middle curve, connect with the last one and come down and then do your crossbar. Gonna curve and come up, go to the middle, connect and come down nice and straight and a straight horizontal. So curve and come up, go to the middle, curve and come down with our crossbar. All right, two more left. <laughs> T as in two more left. Okay. Uh, last one, curve and come up, go to the middle, straight down, curve as you come to the bottom and curve and exit. And just like when we did our letter, um, letters, excuse me, I and J, you come back and add the T crossbar after you're done writing the word. So you don't want to stop like here, add your crossbar and then continue on your letter. You're going to add the crossbar at the end. Okay, so I'm going to curve and come to the middle, all the way up, curve and come down, and then go back and add, you can probably do about three or four uh, dashes length for your T crossbar. Okay, let's try one more. Curve and go up, go to the middle, curve and come down. So not too many letters where you don't, um, where you um, lift your pen or pencil. All right, the letter X. Okay, so remember to continue on if you wanna pause the video, it's up to you. Otherwise, um, we're gonna do our X. So you can see our first stroke of our X is a little different. It's not a compound curve because it comes down at a diagonal and then it does a curve at the bottom. It looks like a roller coaster. Doesn't that look like a roller coaster? <laughs> and then the second is the diagonal down. Okay, so let's try that. So we're gonna curve and come up, curve and come down, curve and end, come back and add the X. So X as an X-ray, you can add it to a box, relax, lots of X. We don't write X's that often. X is a word that, I'm sorry, it's a letter that you don't see a lot, but box has an X. Okay, good. So do your curve come up, curve and come down, and a diagonal to make your X. So curve and come up. Curve and come down, and we have our X. Alrighty. Curve and come up, curve and come down, and your diagonal. So by now, this is the, what, 24th time you're gonna go and continue your X. So you guys have done such a great job learning your cursive letters. So this is definitely a hard handwriting system, definitely. Okay, so pause the video or you can continue with me. We have our R. R, okay. So we're going to, with our R, we're gonna come up. Now this time when we come up, we're coming a little above the dashed line, just a little bit. Not, um, the S and the R are the only ones that go up above the dashed line. Most cursive letters uh, stay below. Now, the second part is you're gonna come down, Stop at that dashed line and then do your under curve and then you end. So a little bit different. Come up above the dashed line just a little bit, not to the middle, not that high. Curve over, curve your under curve. So you want to have you want that same uh, three dash width. Don't want to have it too close. You want to have it too far apart. So you just got to get used to writing it all the way up curves and then when you get to the dash line straighten it out and all the way down good r r as in red r read okay two more so all the way up a little bit above a little bit over and straight under curve down good r all right, 
25th letter. We have one left. Okay, before we get to that, let's practice our all on your own. All the way up a little bit above. Curve down and then straight down under curve. Good. And as you can see, all my R's are definitely not the same. This one's a little bit more wide, so maybe we can practice. Maybe I went over a little too far. There we go. It's it's all about practice. So if you go if you write slower, sometimes you kind of disconnect a little bit. So you gotta kind of keep that nice rhythm. The nice thing about cursive, it has a nice rhythm. Okay, so pause the video, continue to the fifth. I'm sorry, 25th row. And let's do the last letter, X. Okay, so as I said before, and you can see how the S is made up, we, just like the R, start with that first letter stroke a little bit above the dashed line. And now you can see the second one kind of comes around. We haven't done this before. Comes, touches the baseline, but curves so it curves back to the point where it touches that first one, you can see. The last part to exit is just to come back and then come back to the end, just like we did for the letter P. Think of the letter P or the letter K where we like do a like, like nice small curve. Okay, so ready for S, last 26th letter. Okay, so just like the R, you're going to come up above. This time you're going to stay there. Curve around. Curve as you come down. Touch. Touch that initial line and then curve it back. So I think this is the most um, advanced letter maybe of the alphabet. You know, you're going to have to decide. But S's are always <laughs> as for struggle. S's um, can get some people, they get a little bit frustrated. So if you're feeling a little frustrated right now, just keep tracing over mine until you get that, that um, muscle memory of the curves. So just like the R, and then come back, curve it back around, touch, and then come back and exit. And you do write a lot of S's in words, especially when you make words um, more than one, we say plural. So definitely have a lot of S's. S. Okay. All right. Last one you have to trace with me for letter S, at least for lower case. We still have to do uppercase. Sorry. <laughs> Remember, we're doing 52 letters instead of 26 because we have uppercase, lowercase. Okay, but that's not now. Right now, we're just doing our lesson 11. So, last one. All right, let's try it on our own. We're going to curve and come up a little bit above the dashed line. Now, that's that funny S. You're going to go back, touch curve, touch that line. A little bit of space in there, and then come back. So remember cursive is one continuous line, same thing with the S, fastest way to write the S. Okay, so then you'll continue your S all the way to the end. And this time, because we had four letters, we don't have the four, so I had to um, kind of R and S had to get half and half. So you're going to practice your T's. Practice your T's, practice your T's. When you get done, go back and cross them. Remember, you cross at the end after you're done writing. And then practice your roller coaster X's. Roller coaster. So this time, it's definitely a roller coaster. You're going to keep going up and down, 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 all the way to the end. And then go back and do your diagonal. Good. Got our R's. R's are fun. Come up above, come back down, come up above, come back down. And you're going to continue. And then when you get your S, your last letter, S and come down, S and come down, S and come down. So other than the letter X, you're going to have double P's for words. You're going to have double R's. You're going to have double S's. So you got to get used to writing them together. So this will be good practice. Oh my gosh, we did a lot today. We had four letters, but I think we did um, 
as best we can for our practice number 11. All right, so I feel like we did a great job on our last lesson, our lesson number 11 for the lowercase letters, our originals that all had different kind of things going on, but uh, you guys did a great job. I can just imagine what your papers look like and you're gonna continue on. And just remember, if any of the letters you had a hard time with, you can print off another sheet and keep practicing. Tracing is, is a great way to learn. Remember that our muscle memory. Okay, so I feel like we definitely got to start on our accomplishing our lesson goal number 11. Well, we did a great job, and hopefully your hand's not too tired and you can keep practicing. All right, and remember, we want uh, progress over perfection, and we'll get into our alphabet in our next lesson. So great job getting through those 26 letters. Give yourself a high five, jump for joy, whatever you want to do. All right, have a great day.